Hi techies, in this video I am gonna cover one more Informatico or IACS scenario based question that is design a mapping to convert row data into column data. If you see my screen, I have source file like this ID and value. These are my columns in my source file and in target file I have four columns. One is ID, second one is column one and third one is column two and fourth one is column three. And if you see data, then you can understand. Uh, so like this we have to transform the data using IACS mapping. So I'm going to design a mapping for this logic. Before that I'm just going to show you uh, what is my source data. Okay, this is my source data. Whatever I have explained in earlier slide, same data I have kept in my source file. So ID value or CSV I have just given the name of the file. So I'm going to create a new mapping here for transforming the data. So in this source file, I'm just going to take my source as whatever I shown that file, I'm going to take it. So I'm just going to create, I mean configure flat file connection only. So in this, this is my source file and in formatting option I'm just taking comma delimited and text qualifier as none. Now I'm going to take sorter for sorting the um, ID. Right, so I'm just going to sort this one on ID in ascending order, okay. Now I'm going to take one expression. So in this expression, I'm going to create two variable fields. So first one is V of count. Okay. It's integer. Another one is variable field that is V of ID previous ID will take it okay to store the previous record ID I'm just taking this variable port so this is also integer and 10 and I'm just going to save this and now I'm going to create another port that is output port 2 uh, actually we have to take three output fields go of column 1 and this is uh, of column string only okay and another one is row of column 2 And another one is of column 3. So I have taken two variable ports and three output ports. Now I'm just going to check from source what is the data types we are getting. Okay. If ID we are getting as a uh, 
string means we have to change that to the integer if you see here i'm uh, i'm getting string only so how we can change this means uh, just go to options edit metadata here i'm just giving type as integer native type i'm just giving integer I'm just saving here so if we give a native type as integer automatically the type also is going to be changed here to integer so now it's fine okay and now I'm going to uh, I'm going to the expression in expression I'm just going to configure the previous ID as ID right so this one I'm just uh, sending to the last okay so if you see this it just went to the down okay last I'm just keeping and everybody is able to see right I'm just zooming it okay in V count I'm just going to take I'm just comparing if ID is so V count is like it's a previous ID so I'm just going to take if condition and ID equals to V previous ID I'm just going to take this one only okay the previous side I'm just going to add from here then we count plus one so this is variable port right I'm just adding here okay we count plus one otherwise we have to give one so if 10 here if you see if 10 is like we are getting three times right if the 10 is previous right uh, if this ID is the same then we have to increment one if it's not same suppose if you take fourth record 20th record I mean fourth record uh, the value is 20 and if you compare with previous one is just uh, different right so we'll uh, give for this record again count as one so it will continue one two three right so one two three and one two three like this will get the count so i'm just validating this is it's valid and in so and in wo column i'm just going to um check if the count is one v of count equals to 1 then value I am just passing otherwise I am passing null so I am just going to take if condition here so v of count equals to 1 then value I am passing so this is the value field right so this one I am passing otherwise I am passing null so I'm just validating this. Yes, expression is valid. Same thing for O column two, but here I'm just taking V count equals to two. Okay, if V count equals to two, then value. Otherwise, I'm passing null. Okay, and now again same thing for O column 3 also so if we count equals to 3 
then value okay otherwise one sorry otherwise null right so like this i just created variable uh, expression if you wanna see preview i'll just show you okay it's fine so i'm just running the preview before that i have to close this one my source file okay So if you see here, for column 1 we got A for the first record, in second record B has stored in O column 2 and third record it's uh, C has stored in the O column 3 and in again in the fourth record D and fifth record E O column 2 and sixth record O column 3 F it's stored. Now we want this in like A, B, C in one column. So how we can do this means we have to do group by on ID, right? And max value we have to take it. So now it is going to remove. So next I'm just going to take aggregator here. So here in the properties, if you go properties, I don't want all the fields here. So I just want only name fields in that. I'm just going to check whatever I required. So ID I required, O column required, O column 2 required and O column 3 required. But value I don't want here. So I included only four fields in group by I'm just going to group by on ID okay and in advanced we have to keep sorted input checkbox because we used the sorter before of aggregator right so this is sorted input only and in aggregate function uh, we have to add three output fields first one is column one and another one is column two and another one is column three Now I'm going to configure here max of O column 1. Okay. So it's just going to take max value of that column. Validate. Okay. And now again I'm just going to configure here max of column 2. This is for column 2. And for column 3 also I am just configuring for so max of column 3 so validating so it's everything valid why I have taken means we have to uh, we have to remove the nulls right so only the max value it's going to take it here so now I am just going to take in target I'm just going to create connection flat fill connection and in that I'm just going to create an object here itself the file name create new at runtime I'm just taking so I'm just going to give pgt 
id value okay dot csv something like this now in formatting option i am just going to give none here and comma delimited only okay and incoming fields i don't want all the fields i just want whatever i require so i'm just going to take name fields and in configure i'm just including column 1 column 2 column 3 and id i don't want this row column row column which is coming from expression i don't these uh, three columns whatever i created in the aggregator i'm just going to connect those ports only okay i'm just saving so mapping is saved so i'm just going to run this So we got only two rows, right? So we have total six in source, but in target we got two. I think our logic has executed successfully. I'm just going to check target target file. Yeah, we got as expected only. I'm just going to open in the notepad plus plus or notepad. So yeah, if you see data. So whatever we expected, same thing is just given here. So I'm just going to show you this one. So if you see here, we have to get this ID column 1, column 2, column 3, 10, ABC, 20, DEF. So we got as expected, output we got as expected. So if you have any doubts, please mention in the comments. Thank you for watching.